So in this first example, and you'll notice I skipped over the first example in our handout. Actually, no, I'll come back to that. We will do that one. Um, again, just ignore uh, the references to energy here that you see in the handout. We're going to come back to that after we cover energy in the next unit. So uh, this is example two. Let me make a note of that. This is example two. So these are two things sticking. Th these, believe it or not, these two railroad cars have the same mass. And this one is just staying put. And this one has this initial velocity of one meter per second. So the direction of its motion is that away. And in the end, because it's railroad car, it's all going that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead for ease and define to the right as positive. So I have mass A times VA plus mass B times VB equals, now they're sticking at the end, so mass A plus mass B times V prime. Now this simplifies nicely, as I look at this, I'm like, that one goes to zero. This thing is starting off at rest. So what this saying is that mass A, VA, divided by the sum of these masses, equals V prime. And this is where you all send me notes and you say, but we don't know what the masses are. Holy heck, how do we do this? And the reason why I'm writing this out is that if mass A equals mass B, and what I really have here is mass A plus mass A, or just mass plus mass. So this side of the equation would become 2M. This side of the equation would become 1M. So I have mass times VA divided by two times mass equals V prime. Masses cancel. So with identical masses, what this is saying is that my initial velocity divided by two, because now it's twice as massive, will give me my final velocity. So hopefully that one doesn't sound too shocking to you, but it's just half of the initial velocity is what these things will have in the end. So this would be 20, 12, sorry, 12 meters per second is V prime. 